Okay, good morning, good afternoon, students. Uh, in the previous class, we have discussed the some introductory part of the chapter electrochemistry, and today we are going to uh, deal with the conduction in metals and the conduction in electrolytic solutions. I hope uh, you can see the board clearly. Okay, today we are going to study the conduction in metals as well as the conduction in electrolytic solutions. In the previous lecture, we have discussed what are conductors or which substances are said to be conductors. Okay, the substances, they, the substances may be in solid state or in liquid state. Okay, the substances which conducts the electricity to them. These substances are said to be the conductors and these conductors are broadly classified into two types. That part we have already discussed in detail. Though we have discussed in previous class, I would like to revise uh, uh, the introductory part of that chapter which we have discussed in the uh, previous class. Okay, The conductors are broadly classified into two classes. One is, uh, sorry, the substances are broadly classified into, sorry, conductors are broadly classified into two classes. One is metallic conductors and another type is uh, electrolytic conductors, okay? Basically, the conductors themselves are classified or the, are said to be those substances which conducts the electricity through them. Such substances are called conductors, okay? Now, these conductors may be in solid state or in liquid state, okay? Based on this fact, these conductors are broadly classified into two types, metallic conductors and uh, electrolytic conductors. The metals generally allow the electricity to pass through them. These are called metallic conductors and there are some solutions of certain electrolytes. Now, what are the electrolytes? We will discuss later on. Or the solutions which solutions of certain electrolytes they also allow the electricity to pass to them such solutions are also said to be the electrolytic solutions okay the metals metallic conductors solutions of electrolytes electrolytic conduction in electrolytic solutions and what are the basic difference uh, difference in few points of these metallic and electrolytic conductors that part also we have discussed in the previous class generally they were four number one in metallic conductors electricity flows due to the transport of electrons from one place to another place or high potential region to low potential region but in case of electrolytic solutions the conduction of electricity takes place due to the transport of ions transport of ions transport of electrons okay the second differentiating point of metallic and electrolytic solutions are in metals the no matter flows in the metallic conduction matter does not flow with the electric conduct electric current but in case of electrolytic solution matter flows with the electric current as the electric current flows matter in the form of ions also gets flowed third point is there is no decomposition of the compound or metal itself in metallic conductors okay in metallic conduction there is no decomposition of matter but here matter undergoes decomposition as the current flows from uh, uh, as the current flows through the electrolytic solution these are some these are the some uh, differentiating points of metallic conductors and electrolytic conductors now before we get started with this new concept let me uh, explain you what are what are what substances are said to be uh, electrolytes okay which substances are said to be electrolyte okay electrolytes can be defined or electrolytes are defined as the substance which undergoes decomposition when it is uh, dissolved in a proper solvent or when it is melted. okay suppose for example a uh, substance a b a substance a b when it is dissolved in a proper solvent it undergoes dissociation into ions okay the 
substance gets dissociated in its molten form as well as in its solution. Okay, then it will form positively charged ions and negatively charged ions. Okay, A B substance dissociated into A plus and B minus ions. This is this is this phenomenon is called. So this phenomenon is called dissociation, and those substances undergo the dissociation uh, phenomena. They are said to be electrolytes. Okay, until they undergo dissociation, how can they will carry the electric current? Okay, in case just we have discussed that electrolytic solutions, electrolytic solutions conducts the electricity due to the transfer of ions. Okay. If and only there are ions, then and then only that solution conducts the electricity. If there are no ions in the solution, then that such solution will not conduct the electricity. For example, sugar. If we dissolve the sugar in water, it will form sugar solution. Sorry, sugar solution. This sugar solution. Do not conduct the electricity because those sugar and uh, is, though the sugar is soluble in water, but sugar molecules do not get dissociated. Therefore, sugar, urea, these are these are the substances which are said to be non-conductors because their solution do not conduct the electricity. Okay, I mean to say that the substances which undergo the dissociation upon Their uh, upon their dissolution or when they are melted in the molten state, if they form the ions, if the substance gets dissociated, such substances only are called or are known as electrolytes. Okay, and only of only the solutions of such electrolytes conduct the electricity and and conduct the electricity and con And the ions in the solution contributes the uh, passage of electricity or the transport of uh, transport of electric current to the solution. This is the basic uh, introductory part of this uh, uh, conduction in metals and conduction in metallic electrolytic solutions. Okay, here we have to remember two things in metallic conductors. In metallic conduction, the current flows due to the transport of electrons. No decomposition of matter, and uh, what was the third? Uh, first, okay, metal generally this current electric current pass due to the transport of electrons. Okay, and these are some differentiating point. Just it was the theoretical part. Now we will start the another concept, which is electrolysis. New term which we are going to use this oftenly as far as this chapter electrochemistry is concerned. Okay, what is we by electrolysis? Now the phenomenon of the phenomenon of dissociation of the substance when it is dissolved in a proper solvent and when we pass the electric current through such a solution. Such a solution containing an electrolyte, then the electric current flows to the solution due to the transportation of ions. Due to the transport, due to the transportation or flow of ions towards their respective electrodes, towards their respective electrodes. This phenomenon is called electrolysis. Once again, I will repeat: electrolysis is a phenomenon of Dissoci uh, phenomena of dissociation of ions, dissociation of uh, ions in the solution, and when the electric current is passed through such a solution, then electric current is passed through the solution, or electric current uh, the solution allows the electric current to pass through it, and after passing the electric current through this solution, the ions formed in the electrolytic solution they may be positively charged ions or there may be negatively charged ions they moves towards the respective electrodes means positively charged ions 
moves towards the negatively charged electrode and negatively charged ions moves towards the positively charged electrodes positively charged ions are, are called cations and negatively charged ions are, are called anions cations are attracted towards the negatively charged electrode which is called as cathode cations are attracted towards the cathode and anions are attracted towards anode okay now this cathode is negatively charged and anode is positively charged okay when this cations attracted towards the cathode which is being negatively charged and this cations accept the electron from this cathode and get the cathode electrode okay electrode yes Yes, I think. There is some uh, internet connectivity problem. That is why the meeting was. Yes, okay. I was explaining that. On uh, uh, cations in the solution, towards the cathode and anions in the solution, they attract towards the anode before. We proceed further. I will explain this uh, electrolysis process with the help of a diagram, and this diagram is of uh, electrolytic cell. The process of electrolysis is takes place in a uh, container. That container is called as a electrolytic cell. This electrolytic cell. Or the process of electrolysis is carried out in a cell, which is said to be the electrolytic cell. This is the electrolytic cell. This electrolytic cell consists of this electrolytic cell consists of a solution of an electrolyte. This electrolytic cell consists of a solution of an electrolyte in which two electrodes are heated. In this electrolytic cell, two metallic rods are beat. This is the one electric, uh, sorry, metallic rod, and this is the another metallic rod, which are beat in the electrolytic solution. Electrolytic solution, and these two electrodes are externally joined with externally. Connected with the battery. Okay, what is an electrolytic cell? This is a electrolytic cell. This diagram is of electrolytic cell. This electrolytic cell. What is electrolytic cell? The post electrolysis process is being carried out in a cell, particular cell. Is said to be an electrolytic cell. Now, this electrolytic cell consists of this electrolytic cell consists of a solution of a particular electrolyte in which the two electrode the two metallic rods are dipped into the solution, and these metallic rods are called electrodes. These metallic rods are electrodes, and one metallic and these two metallic rods are. Connected to each other by an external wire, which passes through the battery. Or these two electrodes are connected to the battery externally. These two electrodes are externally connected to the battery. Battery is said to be the source of electric current. Okay, with the help of this battery, we supply the electric current to the solution, and that solution is getting passed through the That electric current getting passed through the solution. Now, this is the cathode which is attached to the negative or positive. Okay, the electrode which is connected to the positive end of the battery. The electrode which is externally connected to the battery at the positive end that is said to be anode. That is said to be anode. And the electrode, which is externally connected with the battery, battery to the 
negative terminal of the battery, that electrode is said to be cathode. Okay? And what is the important thing to be remembered as far as this electromagnetic cell is concerned? These are what electrode, which electrode is said to be cathode and which electrode is said to be anode. Okay? The electrode which is connected to the positive end of the battery is said to be anode. Okay? Obviously, since the solution is electrolytic solution, there must present, there must present the positively charged ions. Suppose I am showing these positively charged ions like this and negatively charged ions like this. Okay? I hope you can uh, see it properly. Okay, these positively charged ions are said to be cations and negatively charged ions are called anions. As we know that positively charged ions or cations, they attract towards the negatively charged electrode. These positively charged cations, they attract towards the negatively charged. Okay, for example, I will make a small change. Okay, now these ions, this and this ion is these and this, this and this ions are positively charged ions. They obviously, they obviously attract towards the negatively charged electrode. Okay, negatively charged electrode, and these are the being negatively charged. They attract towards the positively charged electrode. That is anode. Okay, now. They do not only attract towards the uh, electrodes, but these negatively charged ions accept the electrons. Or uh, sorry, negatively charged ions they lose their electrons and get deposited on this electron electrode. Okay, negatively charged ions means they are excess of electrons. They are having an excess of electrons. That is why they possess the negative charge. That is why they possess negative charge. As they are having excess electrons, they donate or they lose the electrons to the anode, which is positively charged ion. They lose the electron and get deposited on this anode and these electrons flows from in this direction. The electrons flows Whatever the electrons are donated by these negatively charged ions and ions, these electrons flow externally from this direction to this direction or positive end to negative end. Okay? Now, these cations will attracted, will get attracted towards the cathode and they accept the electron. Now this electron flows from this negative end to the electrode. Okay? They attack towards the cathode where they accept the electron from the cathode and gets deposited. Okay? To explain this uh, electrolysis process, I would like to take an example of electrolysis of electrolysis of HCl solution. Electrolysis of hydrochloric acid solution. Okay, if this electrolytic cell consists of HCl solution, that means that HCl gets deposited, in, oh, sorry, dissociated into H plus ions and Cl minus ions. Okay, this is the solution of HCl. That means HCl, H plus ions and Cl minus ions are present in this solution. H plus ions are said to be cations and Cl minus ions are said to be anions. Okay, now after the dissociation of HCl in the solution, if we pass the electric current through this uh, solution in the help of this external circuit, okay, then what will happen? These ions carry the electric current and moves towards the respective electrodes. For example, at, at anode, at First of all, oh, at anode, what kind of reaction or uh, process takes place? We will discuss at anode. Now, we know that anode is 
connected to the positive terminal of the battery therefore it is positively charged electrode just remember anode positively charged electrode anode positively charged electrode and at this anode which ions are attracted out of this hydrogen or chloride ions will be attracted yes out of these two which ions will get attracted towards anode because anode is positively charged obviously chlorine molecule chloride ions okay when these chloride ions are attracted towards the anode and if they lose their electron they lose their electron and gets deposited gets deposited at anode this uh, chloride ions gets deposited i just see here right and the pair of chlorine atoms okay pair of chlorine atoms form chlorine gas and gets evolved from the solution okay from the solution now chloride ions loses their electrons and forms a chlorine atom this process is called or the oxidation or reduction oxidation of chlorine atom takes place here okay oxidation by oxidation oxidation is as far as electrochemistry is concerned remember always in the blood oxidation is a process in which electrons are lost which substance is said to be uh, oxidizing substance or the substance which loses the electrons which donates the electrons which releases the electrons that substances are said to be uh, are are uh, said to be undergone the oxidation process okay the substance which loses the electron the oxidation of that substance takes place okay now at cathode at cathode uh, one minute i have one okay now at cathode obviously this cathode is attached to the negative terminal of the battery means it is a negatively charged ion negatively charged ion at a uh, negatively charged electrode at cathode these hydrogen ions h plus ions accept the electron accept the body electron from this electrode and it gets deposited as a hydrogen atom and this process is called reduction or okay as far as mcq questions multiple choice questions are concerned these are uh, these are the points which are uh, required to be properly understood okay the charge of anode charge of cathode towards uh, which ion gets attracted towards which electrode this you should remember if once you remember the charges on the electrodes and charge on the ions then you can easily explain uh, this fact so okay. at anode anode means positive charge at which the negatively charged ions deposited therefore this negatively charged ions are go oxidation oxidation of chlorine at anode and uh, reduction of yes reduction means gain of electron acceptance of electron okay these electrons are accepted from this Uh, cathode and gets deposited as a hydrogen atom. Now, the pair of hydrogen atom forms a hydrogen gas molecule and gets evolved from the solution. Okay, gets evolved from the or gets deposited on this electrode. Now, it donates negatively charged. Now, instead of this, I would uh, uh, explain this by putting here. Uh, okay. Anode and anode, this chlorine minus ion gets deposited on on this electrode as a chlorine, and H plus ion gets deposited on this cathode as a hydrogen atom. Here, okay, uh, only ten minutes are left. Here, chlorine chloride ions undergo oxidation and hydrogen ions undergo reduction, and these two. ions get deposited on the respective electrodes gets deposited on the respective electrodes okay this is all about and finally the overall reaction is given as h plus ions plus 
Cl minus ions, okay, gives rise to Yes. Uh, sorry. Gives rise to X here. Uh, sorry. Give H2 H plus ions loses except one electron and gives rise to H2 and Cl2 gives rise to Cl2. They get they conjugate as these substances. This is all about this is all about the electrolysis process. Okay, electrolysis process. I hope it is understood by you. Okay, instead of these ions, I will write here uh, twice the XCL molecules. Okay, two XCL molecules. Okay, that means two H plus ions and two CL minus ions undergo oxidation reduction and forms hydrogen gas and chlorine gas in this process. This is all about the electrolysis. Very simple. Positively charged ions attracted towards the cathode. Negatively charged ions attracted towards the anode. Negatively charged loses the electron at the cathode, which are passed through this battery. And positively charged accepts the electron from this cathode and gets deposited on that respective electrode. Okay. I hope uh, the electrolysis process is understood properly and we will proceed further that is the next part is a very very important as far as your practicals oh sorry uh, theory examinations are concerned okay uh, actually the time is running out only four minutes are left to end this meeting so I would like to ask you whether if you are, if you have any doubts, please you can ask. Otherwise, we will proceed for the further concept in the next uh, lecture. If you have any problem, if not, then I will end the meeting and I request all the students, please join the next class immediately. Okay.